Seriously, how does he do this? Do you hear that? Huh. Must be the hand. <laughs> Anyways, I'm usually Dave from the Digital Soup Podcast. Here with a follow-up real quick on my thoughts on the rest of the Marvel's Defender series. It does get better, but let's jump in right after this. All right, guys, so if you remember back in the first video I did about my first take on the Marvel's Defenders series, I was a little bit lukewarm about it. I wasn't in love with it. It was moving a little bit slow and seemed to me like they had some ground to cover to make up. Sorry, I had a car coming, but they had some ground to cover to really put this series back into a place for me that felt fun and exciting. Now. I was two episodes in last time. This time, I finished the series last night, and I've gotta say, it definitely does pick up. The, the way that they incorporate the five fingers of the hand and the whole storyline there was actually pretty interesting, pretty cool idea, and a, and a fun concept that they used. And while I'm not exactly sure how close it was to the comics, it definitely was a fun story. The series was well worth a watch. Now that being said, Daredevil is still my favorite part of this series. Now, he's always been a character that I've really, really enjoyed over the years, and that's no different here. Luke Cage and the Iron Fist had some excellent interplay and some excellent banter, and you got to see them kind of become friends, but I kind of expected more the way people talked about it. It was good, don't get me wrong, but there wasn't as much as I thought. Jessica Jones, her interplay with it in The Reluctant Hero, which they all are, really, in, in, to a degree. You know, that was, that was a lot of fun as well. It was a very... The ending of the whole series, or season, I guess you'd say, was a little bit gut-wrenching, or I should say had the potential to be gut-wrenching. And I think had they ended it, when you see Foggy and Karen in the police station right there, and let it carry over to next season would have been a much better ending. But instead they went a step further, showed a few more things, and kind of took the magic out of it a little bit for me. But all in all, it's a great season. I am curious to see what happens in the next series as they explain how things unfolded the way they did because I don't want to give any spoilers here, but they leave a cliffhanger and then they kind of blow it at the end by spoiling that cliffhanger a little bit. So be ready for that, but seeing Daredevil and Elektra battle, um, very, very cool. Spoilers in case you didn't know, of course, Elektra is in this. If you remember at the end of Season 2 of Daredevil, she dies at the hands of the hand, no pun intended, and um, is captured and brought back to life into something that's called the Black Sky, which is supposed to be this ultimate weapon for the hand to do whatever nefarious plan they have going and you find out what that is through this series and seeing her recapture some of herself gain the somewhat superhero strength and, and powers to a degree that she was lacking in daredevil was really cool to see and i'm excited how season three of daredevil is going to look um because i really think that there's a lot of great storylines there now like i say daredevil has always been my favorite character. Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, eh, they're okay. They're kind of supporting characters, if you ask me. Very fun series, though. When I rank the Defender series amongst the rest of the Netflix original um, street-level heroes between those four, I have to give the Defenders, it's probably my number three spot because I really enjoyed seasons one and two of Daredevil. I really enjoyed Jessica Jones, and then I would put Defenders right in there in that number three spot, and then of course Iron Fist and Luke Cage rounding out the bottom. Now, that being said, they're all a good good time, they're all good fun. Iron Fist was a little slow, and I know people really will get on that because of that, but when you see how it plays into this Defender series, it's actually pretty good. And what I'm really interested in is to see how the Punisher fits into this world and how his series is going to go 
and I have a hunch I know, but I don't want to say here because it'll kind of spoil the series. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. I give the Defenders a solid, you know, compared to the rest of the, the Netflix originals, third spot on my list. You know, if Daredevil Season 1 was, let's say, my favorite at a 10 out of 10, I'd give Season 2 of Daredevil about a 9 out of 10, Jessica Jones about an 8 out of 10, and I'll put the Defenders in around a 7 with Luke Cage and the Iron Fist coming in around a five or six each. So very cool characters, but definitely worth the watch. It's so much fun to be able to see these characters come to life and see what they're doing with them on, in this case, the small screen in, in a original series on Netflix, which is very awesome. But for now, let's get out of here. As you can probably tell, it's raining where I'm at. I decided to shoot outside still because I love being outside, but stay tuned guys, as always, each and every week for new episodes of the Digital Soup Podcast, which you can find over on the digitalsouppodcast.com. You can also, of course, subscribe on either Apple Podcasts slash iTunes, Google Play Store, or your podcast player of choice, as well as find those episodes posted usually on Facebook, in our Facebook page, and right here on YouTube as well. So, with that, you guys take care. Head over. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and check out all the great stuff coming. And head over to the digitalsouppodcast.com website because we've got new stuff coming up all the time from reviews and first takes on movies and TV shows like this to more tech-oriented stuff such as Jason's uh, Raspberry Pi series he's doing. So very cool stuff and we do this all just for you guys the listeners and help keep you guys informed and give you our thoughts on a few things kind of as a little extra bonus between our weekly episodes you guys take care and as always we'll see you next time